What's going on guys, Phil here from Phil's Craft Corner. I know it's Wednesday and I'm normally in the workshop doing a workshop Wednesday but today's been kind of a strange day. I was supposed to be doing a really cool video about renovating somebody's house, kind of like a DIY SOS kind of thing. That was kind of just chaos and everyone was everywhere and it, it just wouldn't have turned out and to be a nice video. It was brilliant to do, it was brilliant to help out, it was a great cause but it, it just wouldn't have worked. Everybody had face masks on and was wearing gloves and stuff so even though we were in close proximity we were doing what we can to try not to spread coronavirus. So that didn't go as well as I hoped it would so I didn't manage to get a video of that. Then I spent the rest of the day in a salon fixing up a kitchen that I started fitting just before lockdown and they're getting ready to hopefully reopen soon they're waiting on news so they want everything ready to go so I've been there doing bits and pieces there so now I am back home to make up for not doing a workshop Wednesday I will still make a video which is how I made this wooden spoon I've also done this one which is kind of cool this video is going to be how to scale any item that you've got from a picture to make it the right size, be able to do a design, put it on the laser, get a template of where you need to put it and then engrave onto it. With relative ease to be fair, it's, uh, it makes a difference when you don't have a camera system in your laser like a light burn camera and this is a way of getting that done and doing similar process without having a camera actually attached to a laser and go through the software. It takes a few extra steps but hopefully you can get the grasp of it, hopefully it helps somebody. So we'll get onto that one. What I've got here is I've got a black slate in the background which I know the exact dimensions for, if not I can measure these exact dimensions of the square and uh, I put the spoon in the middle. So what I'm going to do is, the reason I chose a slate is so that the spoon would show up quite clearly on the slate because it's a black slate and a light brown spoon almost white. So when I take the picture it's going to be perfectly clear where the edge of the spoon is onto the slate. So the next thing is to do is take a picture so I can see the whole slate. I'm going to get my laser head out of the way there. Um, I'm using the laser bed because that's an easy place for me to set up this camera and it's also got the lighting around the side so it's really nice and clear for me to get a picture in there and then we'll head into Photoshop, we'll scale it to the right size and then I can start working on the design. So let's get a picture of that. Okay, so we've got the picture. The next thing we need to do is we need to measure exactly the size of this slate. So it is exactly 30 centimeters. And now we'll measure it across the other way, which is probably gonna be a little bit difficult. There we go. And it is 20 centimeters across that way. All right guys, so we're here in Photoshop now. We've got the picture there. This whole area, the white area, is 300 mil by 21 mil. Uh, that's the bed size of the laser. So we'll just get the rectangle tool. We'll draw a rectangle here. Uh, we don't want it filled, so we'll change that to no fill, but with a black border, just so we can see it more. And then we can move it wherever we want. We'll scale this. Uh, we don't want to link it centimeters centimeters so height is 20 centimeters width is 30 centimeters so that now is the size of the slate so I'm going to make my image a little bit bigger just so we can see a little bit better and then we're going to scale up this to be that size Obviously, you want to try and have your image as flat as possible. I don't have this perfectly square. As you can see, the edge here meets. It's a little bit over here, but it's over in the edge. So if I hit Control, you can warp the corners. This is why I'm using Photoshop. Zoom out a little bit more. Because so we want to warp this where if possible like so that scale up a little bit we'll scale that slightly in a bit and 
I think that's roughly as good as it's going to get. Uh, we'll zoom in a little bit here so you can see this black line. As you can see, it's just slightly off there. But that should be good enough for what I need. What we do now is I'm going to select this area. So that's all we need. We don't need any of the outside bit. And then I'm going to cut that. We'll delete the background layer. We'll paste that one. And there we go. We have our spoon scaled up to size. So let's get designing. What I want to do is I want to take off the background again. So Photoshop has this great tool called Quick Selection Tool. So this replaces the Magic Wand tool, which is still there, which is the Magic Wand tool, which a lot of you are probably used to. You set your threshold, you click in a space, and it selects everything that's close to that colour. The Quick Select tool takes that and it makes it even quicker. So you can set your size, I'll set that to 74, as you can see you've got a circle like a paintbrush and it does the same thing, you just click and drag around the subject that you want and it selects everything there, it, it basically learns what you're wanting and goes, oh you don't want the rest of this stuff, okay so I can now start working on my design of the spoon, we no longer need the rectangle because the spoon is what we're concentrating on and that's what the design is going to be working on. One of the things that I am going to do is I'm going to add a black stroke around the edge of the spoon. I'm going to take it down to pretty much nothing. Uh, we'll put it in the centre so we've got a nice smooth line there. And there we go. Uh, I could probably fill this with just white as well. Uh, so let's just change that. There we go. Okay, okay. So now we've got a good base just to work from. Alright guys, so this is one of the designs that I've come up with. I'm going to save this as a JPEG, exactly the size it is. I'm going to get over to Inkscape. I'm going to convert it to an SVG to use with K40 Whisperer. I'm realising right now i made a little bit of a mistake. I'm going to jump back into Photoshop. I'm going to fix this mistake right now. Uh, what I needed to do was I needed to separate the design from the spoon. So we'll get the spoon and we'll just move that slightly here. So what I need is I need to get the vector line for the spoon and then I need to have the design separate. So we'll resave this, get back into Inkscape, and delete this vector because that's wrong. I'm gonna import, that's better. So again we're gonna we'll go to path, trace bitmap. That looks alright, okay. Move it slightly, we'll get the image in the background, delete that, and then this is the vector that we want. So we want to select this, path, break apart. As you can see, it goes a little bit weird, but we're okay. We want to select all of these ones here, path, combine, so that goes back to normal. We'll do the same with this one, path, combine, just in case anything went a bit silly there two different layers there. So we'll, we'll just get the solid layer and we'll select all of that back layer. So let's just get this. Select all of this because this is probably all little tiny bits of images as you can see all down here. Just a little bit there and we just want the main spoon so we don't want to fill. We'll take that fill off. We want a stroke and we want that stroke uh, 255 red or blue. I'm going to do this blue actually because I'm going to do it as a vector engraver, I'm not going to do it as a cut, so we'll, we'll keep the colours the right way. So what I want to do now is I want to bring the spoon back down and line it back up with these ones. And you can it up slightly, and that looks pretty good to me. Alright guys, so we've got the sacrificial piece put in the laser. Um, when I put the spoon in here, so it's even going to go that way, or it's going to go that way, it's going to be out of focus. Um, but that should be fine actually. I'm going to drop this down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my laser on now. Let's drop it a little bit. Test switch, go down a little bit more. Right there should do, right over my test face. Now I'm going to shut the lid. And then we are going to Vector gray, 20 millimeters a second, uh, about 6 milliamps of power. Okay, so we can't get 
So now I have a place to put my spoon that's slightly bigger than the spoon. It's not a problem, it's fine. Just need to choose which way I want the spoon to be, and I will go with that way. It is going to wobble a bit, but nothing's going to touch it. I'm not going to use the air assist because I generally don't while I'm doing engravings. So uh, I'm going to have it like that. We're going to set the raster speed to 350. Power the same at around 6 milliamps. <laughs> That looks absolutely amazing. How good is that? Oh wow. I had no idea this was going to turn out the way it did. Like, I'm so happy with how this turned out. Brilliant. I've got so many ideas now that I can use this for. Right guys, uh, if this helped in any way, if you liked the design that this came out, if, if you're as happy as I did that this came out as good as it did, hit that like button, uh, it helps me out a lot, it makes me feel as good as this turning out the way it did. If you want to see more videos like this, just hit that subscribe button, whack the bell button just to get notified, and I will see you in the next one guys, thank you so much for watching.